Please remember to retain me during the presentation. Questions during the presentation can be typed in chat and we'll answer at the end of the presentation once we have open things for questions. This presentation is being recorded. Uh, my name is Sanj Shahid and I will be the project manager for uh, this uh, project. This is a 2021 concrete restoration contract four. Um, it has two major uh, locations. Uh, one is the McCart Avenue, and the other one is uh, South Hillen Street. Uh, so we'll see the project limits and the project budget uh, in short while. Uh, so this is the uh, a brief uh, uh, description about the project and the uh, construction costs and uh, tentative project schedule. Um, my name is Salman Shahid and I'll be the project manager. Uh, we'll be assigning one of the city inspector in that and we'll be communicating that to the public. The contractor uh, is, is the urban infra construction and this project is approx approximately $1 million in construction. Uh, the project uh, is anticipated to start in July 2021, which is next month, and is expected to finish by February 2022. Uh, the project's scope is basically the uh, damage panel replacements, uh, which is on the roadway, and some of the uh, driveway approaches if they're uh, if they're damaged and uh, needs to be replaced. So we, we have basically two uh, phases uh, for this, uh, uh, this, this project. We have divided into two parts, uh, two phases. Um, the first one is the South uh, Helen Street from Columbus Trail to West uh, Resinger Road. And we, uh, we are anticipating to start this phase first and we'll be working on South Helen Street uh, from, from July, 2021, all the way uh, to October, 2021. In the next phase, uh, we'll be doing the McCart Avenue from Sycamore School Road to the West Residence Road. And the schedule for that is anticipated for October 2021 all the way to February 2022. Uh, project limits are uh, from, uh, you see over here, the McCart Avenue is from Sycamore School Road and all the way to uh, West Resinger Road. And uh, on your left, you can see the Hewland Street from Columbus Trail to the uh, West Resinger Road. So uh, this is the existing condition uh, of the current pavement. On the left, you can see the uh, South Hewland Street and you can see how uh, the, um, the road has been damaged. And uh, we'll be replacing all these damaged uh, uh, panels, removing them and replacing them. And on the right side, you can see the McCart Avenue, uh, which has uh, some of the um, uh, panel failures, and uh, we'll also be replacing those. So this is basically the existing condition of the road uh, right now. So what to expect uh, during the construction? So what we'll be doing is placing all the damaged uh, panels, uh, uh, taking them out, and uh, uh, we'll be putting uh, re reinforced concrete uh, for these panels. And uh, in the picture, you can see how uh, individual panels are uh, being con constructed. So something similar you will be seeing on the site, and we'll be fixing the base failures if there's any, and then we'll be putting uh, reinforcement and then the concrete uh, to match the existing pavement. So what to expect uh, after the construction? So you'll see um, some of the relatively new uh, construction panels uh, than the other one. Uh, new, uh, it will be having a newer look. So uh, on the picture on the left, you can see uh, a few of the panels have been replaced. So um, it would look something similar to this one. Um, 
but uh, definitely it will be having much smoother ride and uh, a level paved pavement. So uh, every construction usually brings some kind of uh, inconvenience, and you'll see some of the uh, construction uh, temporary impacts, um, which might include um, like uh, loud construction noises and dust and road debris. And uh, you also see construction equipment throughout the uh, project area, and uh, some of the uh, traffic flow would also be impacted by that. To minimize these uh, construction impacts, uh, we are uh, focusing more on the uh, efficient communication. So that can minimize the impact of the temp temporary construction. So you'll be seeing several notices uh, during various times uh, in the construction period. And uh, we'll be communicating um, if there's any changes to the garbage garbage or uh, just portal postal service uh, well in advance and um, any closure would be uh, uh, communicated well in advance and we'll be placing the construction signage uh, in the in this in project area so uh, if any need to uh, communicate with city they can they'll have a project uh, uh, name and uh, project number also the uh, contact information on those. Uh, the regular work hours have been set for uh, for this is from Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And section will only happen during this time and will not be working during any uh, 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 weekends or, or in the public holidays, uh, except for some uh, permissions would be granted uh, if if it is required. Uh, this is my contact information. Uh, my name is Salman Shahid, and my phone number is 817 392 7968. And my email address is salman.shahid at fortworthtexas.gov. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email me, you can call me um, regarding this project. So now, if you, if you, have, if you guys have any questions, uh, you, you can go ahead and ask, ask if any. Questions you have. Well, then there's nothing in chat so far, but uh, if anyone has any questions about the project, feel free to unmute um, and ask Salman and we can get you whatever information you need. Hi, Salman. This is Kendall Locke from uh, Council Member Williams' office. Uh, I don't have any questions. I just want to say thank you so much for the presentation. Um, and if possible, if you can share a copy uh, with me via email. Um, I'd appreciate it. And other than that, good work. Thank you very much. I will share that uh, uh, with uh, both council members. And thank you for joining on on his behalf. Um, I will definitely share this presentation uh, with you. All right, if, if you don't have any further questions, so we're gonna adjourn this meeting right now. Um, everyone have, have a nice evening. Thank you.